Hey, New Beginnings Church. Hope your Saturdays are off to an awesome start. Uh, my name is Alicia Binney. I am your Chi Alpha Campus Missionary at Penn State Barrent in Erie, PA. And I'm super excited that uh, Pastor Ben asked me to share with you guys on this Saturday morning. So, um, yeah, I've been praying a little bit, praying, praying a good amount about what to share, and um, hope that this can just be an encouragement to you guys on this uh, this afternoon. So, if you guys would bow your heads with me, we'll start in prayer and then dive right into the Word. So, God, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for bringing us through this week. I might have had a lot of a lot of ups and a lot of downs, maybe more downs than ups, but regardless of that, you are still faithful, that you brought us here this morning, Lord, and that, um, God, we can just spend time in, in your presence, spend time in your word, and I pray that just during this time, whatever distractions, whatever anxieties or worries might be on our hearts and minds, God, that Lord, we can just focus on you, that we can remember who you are and that everything else can just fall away in light of focusing on your your greatness and your holiness. So God, we love you so much. We pray all of this in Jesus' strong, mighty, holy name. Amen. So this week, I want to ask you guys one question. And this question is, what do I still need to remember about God? I've kind of been processing through this whole season, as I think we all are trying to process things as they um, come at us and changes are being made and we have to stay inside. We have to stay inside more. When we go outside, we have to wear a mask. And um, I'm sure some of you guys have had really difficult work changes and um, family members and friends getting sick or um, just all the different things. I, I can't even begin to imagine everything going on in all the situations. But regardless of what it is, I kind of feel like we're at this point where we're like, okay, this is what's going on. We've been in this for a little bit. Um, we've kind of gotten over the point of, of, wow, that's not happening anymore. Or this is what's happening. Um, and settling into almost a spot of, of maybe a new normal, as I've heard it called a few times. Um, but I think sometimes what happens when we go through a transition or, or something new starts is that we can tend to, to leave God out of certain parts of things. Um, we're focused on something and we're like, okay, yeah, that's true. That's, I guess that's what the reality is. But, and maybe our hearts and minds, we haven't taken the time to say, well, who is God? And, and what does God have to say in this? Do I have to live in fear? Do I have to live in worry? Um, do I have to, to be nervous or, or freaking out about whether or not something is going to happen or not? Um, and, and often it's, it's that we're not asking ourselves this question enough. What do I still need to remember about? God. And as I was processing this, I, I thought a lot about the Psalms because in the Psalms, they, um, the author spends so much time like being honest and being open, which I think sometimes we're better at than others. I think some of us were really good at saying like, yeah, God, this is how I feel. And here are all my emotions. But then sometimes we're like, I'm good. Like, it's all good. It's fine. Um, but when we look to the Psalms, the author is like, they never did that. They you know, they took the time to say, this is how I'm feeling right now, but I'm going to remember who God is. I'm going to focus on who God is. I'm going to look back to him. So I wanted to just take some time and read and see how some of the, the psalmists did that. So if you guys have your Bibles, we're going to start in Psalm 42. Psalm 42, verse 5, for starters. So the author says, why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. So he's taking a moment and he's saying, he's talking to his soul and he's saying, why are you downcast? Why are you disturbed? What, like, what's going on right now? Why do you feel this way? And acknowledging that, but then saying, I'm going to put my hope in God. Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Regardless of what's going on, he's saying, you know what? I'm going to put my hope in God. I'm going to keep praising him because he is God and he's good. And I think that that's a really crucial thing for us right now in this season is saying, yes, I'm discouraged. Yes, I maybe feel alone or um, I don't know how I'm going to afford things. I don't know how I'm going to um, provide or, or I don't know what next week is going to look like. But what can we do today, right now, during this weekend, before we head into this next week to say, okay, yes, everything's going on, but what am I going to remember about God? And as we process that question and think about this, um, 
I wanted to turn to Psalm 103 because that's a Psalm where David really lays it, lays all that out. He's like, here's, here's who God is. Let's remember his goodness. Let's remember um, who he is. So yeah, if you have, if you want to open with me to Psalm 103, we're going to read verses one through 12. So verse one starts with praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as higher the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. So as far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. Wow, there's just so much. It's a jam-packed. 12 verses and um, we can just read those and look and you know what is it for you maybe something even just as I was reading stuck out um, have you thought about God being compassionate have you thought about his his grace do you think about God being abounding in love in a season where maybe you're feeling alone or feeling um, just kind of, of neglected or, or discouraged have you thought about his forgiveness have you remembered that that God is for you, that he satisfies your desires, no matter what the season? Because that's the, that's the truth about God. And, and I'm sure you've heard it a lot. It gets said a lot, but um, I think we need to hear it a lot. And that's why it gets said so much is that regardless of the circumstance, regardless of um, what is going on around us, like God is unchanging. He is still the same. And this Psalm, Psalm 103, it's being read by us today. It was read by people hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, and um, it's it's true. It's all always true about God. So um, today's Devo is a little shorter, but I wanted it to be short because I want us to all take time as as, as this wraps up after I pray and, and the, the video ends. Um, don't just keep scrolling, but maybe pull out your phone and get a piece of paper and start writing a list and just start at the top. God is, and just anything that comes to mind that you know to be true about God from what you've read in the Bible, from what you've heard um, preached in church or, or whatever it is, um, write it down in a list. That was something that God prompted me to do a few a few months ago now. And the, in the front of my Bible, you can see all these pink post-its. I just sat down and wrote a bunch of attributes of God. And that has been such an awesome list for days when, you know, I'm just it's not a good day. Things aren't going how I planned. I'm tired. I'm discouraged. And um, I just flip to the front of my Bible and I remind myself like, hey, God's faithful. He's steadfast. He's patient. He's providing. and He's constant. He's all knowing and all powerful. And those are just only a few of the ones that I have written there. But in every season, in every moment, we need to keep those things in mind. And um, I think especially right now with everything going on, let's not forget the awesomeness of our God. He is awesome. He is mighty. He is powerful. And he is greater than anything that we are facing today. Um, so I kind of want to leave with uh, two little resource suggestions, I guess. One's a song. It's called Bigger Than I Thought. Uh, it's by Passion, I believe. And I'll, I'll post it in the comments to this video. But um, maybe as you're making your list, you can go and click on the song link and listen to it. And it's basically a song that says, you know, God's bigger than I thought, because that's, it's true. He's, whatever we're thinking about God right now, he's bigger than that. Um, and it's a great reminder that says, you know, God's bigger than we think he is, and he's mightier than, than whatever we're facing. And the second is, if you're wanting to spend time um, just reading on these attributes and thinking about them more deeply, Knowledge of the Holy by A.W. Tozer is one of my favorite, favorite books. And, um, it has a bunch of chapters, at least 20. I don't know exactly how many, but they, each chapter is about one attribute of God. And Tozer takes all the passages, a bunch of them about that attribute of God, 
and makes it into a whole chapter with all the scripture references. And um, it's just so full. I went through a, probably a month or so where I would make that the start of my Devo time. I would sit down, get my coffee, and read one more chapter in Knowledge of the Holy. And from reading that chapter, it was a, the perfect um, kickstart to my prayer time and kickstart to my time being in the Word because it reminded me once more of who God is. So I pray that, that you guys from reading this psalm and, and from the list that you begin to write, that the Lord would just speak to you about reminding you of who he is and reminding you about who he is in ways that maybe you've forgotten in the middle of all this uh, crazy season we're in. So um, I'll close in prayer and then we can uh, go from there. So God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for another day. We thank you for Psalm 103 and for the reminders that it includes of, of who you are, of your goodness, of your love. and um, so many other things, that you're our healer, that you're a provider, that you see our, our desires of our heart and you um, satisfy us, God. And we're so grateful for all of these things. And Lord, right now as we sit down and take maybe two or three minutes or so and just think about who you are and, and read through scripture, God, would you just remind us of the things we've forgotten? Remind us of who you are. Remind us of, of how you are the answer to all the problems that are plaguing our minds today, Jesus. We love you, we trust you, and we just give everything to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. So I hope that um, from this, you can begin to think about God in a way that maybe you hadn't earlier today. And feel free to write some of those attributes and verses that come to mind down in the comments below. Um, God might remind you of something, of a passage that someone else needs to hear and vice versa. Um, so let's all come together and kind of remember all of God's goodness and then share that with one another. So hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. And if you are in the Jamison PA area, don't forget to stop by tomorrow for New Beginnings Church and their drive-in service tomorrow morning at 10. And yeah, have a great rest of your Saturday.